What's good, Ken folk? It's your big homie, Screwface Capone, the gaming mobster in the building. I'm finally back. As you can see, I just moved into the new place. I'm um, getting settled quite nicely. Um, it's still um, a bit disheveled, um, but it's not as messy as it was when I came in. Most of my stuff is unpacked. Um, I got the lab set up, as you can see. Um, and of course, there's my uh, back wall. There's my uh, trans pride flag. Um, I got action figures back there. So I'm probably going to grab a, uh, some new posters in about a week or so. Um, you know, just make things look nice. You know, really put that touch on it. Anyway, enough of that, though. Um, I got a brand new unboxing for you guys. This is the Evercade EXP verse. Um, not versus. Um, this is the Evercade EXP limited edition. Check that out. So it's the newest device from Evercade, which is a line of products from UK-based um, company called Blaze Entertainment. And what these are, um, they are devices in which. Um, so let me let me double back. Um, the company actually makes um, partnerships with various companies, and these companies create um, compilations of games which they put on these cartridges for Evercade. Um, you can find anything from Jellico to Namco. Um, here's one from um, Galico. Um, they're a uh, Spanish-based developer, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if they're from Spain or just Europe in general, but this is a um, collection of games that they put out recently. And this is the original handheld console, by the way. So um, basically what this is, you put it into the uh, back like this and it's kind of slick because um in this case the cartridge actually fits into the design so of course we'll turn this on and i'll show you what's on here i know i'm getting a bit of reflection but <laughs> it's got to like the startup sequence So, of course, this is the menu for it. Now, there's also a console that they put out called the um, Evercade Versus. Um, it came out um, a few years ago. And here's what that looks like. I actually did an unboxing video like well over a year ago. So here's what that looks like. Um, I got a limited edition of this. And one thing you gotta like is these boxes that they ship them in. Um, especially if you get like the collectors or limited editions, they pack in like a whole bunch of extras and it's just awesome. So that's the Evercade Versus. Um, so that has like Wi Fi, um, firmware updates. And like you can play, you can plug like two different cartridges into the console at once. So I actually, so again, like I said, I did an unboxing video earlier, so um, I'll link to that at the end of the video. But anyway, this is the Evercade EXP. Um, this is the newest iteration of the handheld. Ah. So what happened was, um, this was I was supposed to receive this last fall, but the um, shipments had gotten hit and they were stolen, so they ended up being delayed for several months. And they put in a whole bunch of extra, and I wouldn't say a whole bunch, but they put in quite a few extras. One of the extras was this screen protector. So that's like, uh, so yeah, they packed it in with it. I think, um, they did that thing, like with, with like with the Evercade versus, like, and if you got the limited edition, then you got the opportunity to put your name in the credits. And they did that with this one. Um, probably, uh, again, it was done as a way to make up for the delay. Now, one thing that you'll notice about this unit is that there's a Capcom logo. The reason for that is that um, they've put, like, several Capcom games that are built into the unit. So, let's get a close-up. I know it's a bit blurry. I'm working with some new software for the camera. And lighting. And I'm, wor and I'm working with some new lighting setups, too, so... This channel is always a work in progress, so that's what it is. So you look at the back, you can see stuff like uh, Street Fighter, um, Final Fight, um, there's Mega Man, um, there's uh, Strider, you even got Breath of Fire. 
So it's a good variety. So um, if you probably got one of those Capcom arcade steams or whatever, then you probably already played this, but it's still a nice thing to have on here. Now, again, if you look at the sides, you can see like all the different companies and all the different um, game publishers that are on here. You've got Intellivision, Bitmap Brothers, Renovation, Gremlin, Technos. Um, Alice Awakening and Cathedral, those are like two independent games that they put on here. And of course, here are some more um, companies that they've worked with and more game collections. Like I said, you got to like these boxes. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than from what I usually do in unboxing. Because usually when I unbox something, I'll unbox it, then I'll record like... Uh, a bunch of game footage. And I know some people don't like that because the Wolf do like the Genesis one that ended up, the Genesis Mini 2 that ended up being an hour. Or so, um, what I'm going to do is this video is going to be the unboxing. I'm going to show you what you get. And, um, later on, I'll do a follow up video where I'll, um, give my complete thoughts on the unit, like right after I'm able to play it for some time. So, with that being said, let's open this bad boy up. Alright, here we are with the box. This is the Evercade box. Here's a more close-up look at the uh, Capcom games. So there's plastic all around this, so of course we're going to cut off the plastic. I probably do this with my finger, but I got my box cutter here. I just love the sound of South Fang being peeled off. And of course, we're going to slide this bad boy off. And this is the Evercade EXP Limited Edition. Of course, my camera shoes this time to get all blurry and shit. Alright. So, like I said, you really got to like the designs of these boxes. Not only the outer, but the inner boxes. Let's go ahead and open this up. And here's the quick start guide. And here is the unit. So here's the unit. Now this feels now um here is the older unit for comparison. Um, so this one's a bit, this one's obviously longer. It feels a bit heavier, but um, this is a bit thicker. The older one is a bit thicker, um, but this one feels a little bit heavier. Kind of like, um, bit higher quality, even the screen. So we'll get to back to that in a bit. So let's see what else is in the box. A certificate of authenticity. The Blaze team. Nice. Evergate Heroes. You get these little cards. Um, Irene, um, R-Type, and The Hunt. You get Truxton and Tiger Heli. And here are the two game cartridges you get. Here's Irene. So Irene was one of the big games in Japan. Uh, one of the um, bigger arcade... Well, I wouldn't say bigger. One of the more prominent arcade developers in Japan. Of course, they're known for games like R-Type and Kung Fu and 10 Yard Fight, of course. So, you get R-Type, you get In the Hunt, you get those games. Here's some more stuff. Here's a poster. And here's Tile Plan. Now, Tile Plan is another Japanese developer, but... um. Now they weren't as well, they weren't really as well known, but they did a lot of shoot 'em ups. They got Tiger Heli, Zero Gar Zero Wing, um, Snow Brothers, 
flying shark. So here's the uh, charge cable. And you get this Capcom EXP collection. That's pretty nice. Let's peel this thing off and see what we got. It's in the envelope. Ooh, we open that up. Here is the Capcom collection. So basically it's a big instruction manual about all the books, about all the games that are on here from Capcom. And you get an Evercade Heroes discount code at Fun Stock. You can't use mine. And here is Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. You get a poster. So again, if you got one of the many comp compilations that Capcom has put out over the years, you've probably already seen that. These, ga these games are probably old hat to you, but um, they're still nice to have on here. And here's a carrying case for the EXP. Now, I got all this for like 200 bucks, so it's a pretty good value. Get a little keychain. So yeah, one thing is if you get the limited editions of these things, they really pack in the extras. So I'm going to move everything real quick and check out one of the games on here. Um, well, one of the cartridges. This is tile plan. Um, I'm going to take off the car. I'm going to take off the plastic. So this is a new one that was recently added. Of course, you got this little instruction booklet here. So you get, so you get a lot of information about each of the games. So here's what the cartridge looks like. It's white, so you can stick it back here. Now one thing, it's kind of like off-putting to like um, it's kind of like off-putting to have like a white cartridge against a black background. But still, um, but that's just this minor thing. So of course at the bottom here's uh here's your plugs and your connectors and all that and your volume control. So start this on to see what it's and see what it's like. Here's the on and off switch. Here it is. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get some game footage just yet. I wanna see like if there's a big difference between this one and the first one. Here's a Blazer Entertainment logo. Yeah, it definitely looks nicer this time around. English. Heck the Wi Fi. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the um, Evercade EXP startup screen. Um, well, the menu. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but uh, if you played the Evercade Versus, then um, the menu will look familiar for you to you. But yeah. So I'm using a tile plan cartridge. Again, it's kind of hard to see. So that's what that looks like. You can sort by title. Can support by re or you can support you can sort by release date. I don't know why I said support. If you go to this EXP menu, then this is where you can access the Capcom games. And there are a number of them. Um, looks like you got a mix of arcade and home console games. Again, it's kind of hard to see, and I apologize for that. I'm not going to record any game footage anyway. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. It looks like there are some hidden games that you can unlock too. Evercade coming soon. And guess there's something coming soon. Let's go to credits. So I wanted to see. So you can see the credits.
It has a secret code just like the Versus had. I thought he listed names again. I guess that'll come in a future update. But you got theme settings. You got dark, blue, and gold. I think that looks much better, don't you? But one cool thing that you can do in this version, I'll just show you guys this real quick. Um, they have what's called tape mode. Or if you press this button down here, the device will flip vertically. That way you can play it this way. Because there's a lot of shoot 'em ups this time around, of vertical shoot 'em ups. And you actually play the game this way. So yeah, if you go, if you have that old school shoot 'em up flavor, then tape modes for you. See, so we can go back to the menu. If the menu will be the same way. Now, that, apparently, that's just one point in the game, the tape mode. All right, so that's enough of that. Time to let's head back out, and we'll get some final thoughts. So that is the Evercade EXP. Like I said, I'm gonna do a more of a review or first impressions a little bit later on once I get some more hands-on time with this you know give my thoughts after I've got a few days to really experience this thing but so far I'm really liking what I see like it definitely feels um more what's the word I'm looking for refined maybe especially compared to this one like um this one it kind of feels like a bit hollow like just a piece of plastic even the screen feels a bit cheap but this one, you can tell like more. Um, you can tell more work went into it. Like whoever's the design, the uh, menu, um, just all type. Just um, they definitely put a lot more into this. And one thing I really like about the Evercade line is the fact that they don't, that they just don't concentrate on one single um, portion of retro gaming. Like it's not just arcade. It's not just console. It's not just the Atari era. Um, it's not just Japanese developers. It's not just um, interplay. There's like you get di you get different varieties varieties of stuff. There's arcade games. You get um, you recently have a Commodore 64 release. There's going to be a Mega release. You got companies called uh, you got companies such as Galico on it. So there's a lot of cool stuff that's available now and coming in the future. Um, so if you're an old school head or maybe you're a younger head and you're discovering these games for the first time, this is a great way to experience these games. So I definitely recommend, so I definitely, so, um, at the very least, I recommend the Evercade Versus, um, because like that's a home console and that's got a bunch of little quirks on its own. And, you know, who knows, maybe down the line we could probably see some more stuff from companies like, um, Capcom. I know, I know they got games built into this. Maybe Konami, maybe, um, uh, Midway Collection. Um, who knows? But yeah, that was the Evercade EXP. And oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I didn't mention this, but the top actually has four buttons, whereas the original Evercade has two. Um, the Evercade Verse Controller also has like the four top buttons. And I know there's at least, um, one game cartridge with a game that looked like it was from the original PlayStation, or at least from that era. So, um, that's another cool thing to note. But anyway, that wraps up for the video. Um, I know I'm starting to ramble now, but hopefully you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, feel free to drop a like and feel free to drop a comment. Matter of fact, if you do own an Evercade device, um, what's your favorite cartridge for it? Let me know in the comments. Also, um, on this channel I like to cover, um, not only do I cover cool pieces of tech such as this, I like to cover retro titles, and I like to also preview indie games, you know, try to signal boost these games, and really 
um, and really, you know, try to let more people know about them. So if you, so if this sounds like something you want to be down with and you want to join the mafia, hit that big red subscribe button and you'll become a made man. In fact, if you keep, if you click that bell icon, that way your notifications will be on. And whenever I drop videos such as this, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, um, I, if you want to learn about the two previous um, Evercade devices, the original handheld along with the Evercade Versus, I've got um, videos for both of those. And they just popped up on your screen, so click those out. And in the meantime, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'm Audi 51000G, Ken, folks.